had a neat dream last night. It was about our system that we live in. It was unique. I dreamt that I was a young child in a place where they made their own jewelry. They would mix the glass and the polymers together to make their own jewelry. And they were showing me how they did that. And then they had a, another class for children where you would make bread and you would learn how to make bread. So teaching was part of the organizational process for their people. And it was part of what you did. So you did it with enjoyment and then you got permission to go to those classes to learn better things. And the education process was based on children, not on adults. So the <clears throat> children were being followed in a way that was kind of like artificial intelligence would do. So wherever the child goes, the child can interact. Then after that dream, I awoke and I had another short dream about the universe. And I understood a basic idea of the premise of our universe that if you understand the constant of E, right, and the constant of N, and that these two constants are unbreakable on a chain, and that within those constants you have such points known as light and sound, and light and sound and the constants of E and N make up what we have as a visible spectrum, what we are aware of. And the universe is much like that of what you would consider a Faraday construct. So while some parts of it appear to be um, empty or void, many parts are filled with great amounts of abundancy. And that abundancy can be found by paying attention to the constant of N. N would be sound. Sound is constant in the universe only in places where there's life. Picture this. Only in a reaction can you create a sound, especially in the void of space. The reaction of sound is created by the way that things react to each other. A reaction is a form of life. It is an action that takes place in the presence of nothing itself. And so, therefore, it can be said that life can be defined to anything that takes an action of its own. Right? So, therefore, when you look at life in space and in the universe, the constructs of life as creation takes us to it, you can identify that life expands beyond us through light. In a construct like that, where we are all one and some of us are different, like as for me, I'm a carbon life form and I have a short life expectancy, yet my body is still filled with the presence of E, energy, and that energy fulfills me, it allows me to function appropriately. And some of us that have too much energy function at a higher spectrum, and some of us that do not get the right flow of energy function at a lower spectrum. The universe is much the same. The energy is a constant, and for some areas where the negative sound wave takes in part or an inflection, you'll get what's called darkness. And darkness is an envelopment of energy that absorbs light because it is light. Light itself is the presence of light and color itself represents color in the form of blackness where all color can be seen. So the infinite amount of darkness is what light is of the presence when darkness itself is seen in the middle of nowhere. So therefore, when you are in the universe and you are looking at things through the Faraday construct of how the universe is built and made for humanity, you have to understand God's works are based on that idea, the precedence of sound. Sound creates the light that forces forward the ability for the flow and the creation of what is called the reaction. The reaction then therefore is life. And from that reaction, we get what is called the building blocks. The building blocks give us everything that we need. We consider some of these things that we need time. Time does not exist. It is not a factor. It is a construct for those that have not the ability to live or have a life of forever. Yet in our life, our lives as humans, homo sapiens, we will have a construct known as time that will limit us and make us feel as if we are limited. Yet know that on our adventure, our journey as we go forward, that we are not the only life force or life source, and that when we forget that the other things is created by God of this world and all worlds, that 
It is true that the light source brings forth what we see, yet within that light we see more and there is more watching unto us. So do not forget that even though you may feel as if you are alone, God never leaves you alone. And even though you feel as if you are not seen, you are not unseen. And even though you feel like you are greater than that of which is, you can never be the name of greater than what is. God bless God. The universe is bigger than where you're going. You wonder, what is of this ark? What is of this ark? Where are you going? God bless God.